Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode number 16 of Survival Island Season 3. How's everybody doing? We are back on the island today, and I am once again doing a little bit of a solo YOLO session here today, guys. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, there's actually several things I want to do. This is going to be a pretty busy episode. The start off, guys, this is a very important moment here in Survival Island uh, Season 3, guys. Th this, is a, this is big, guys. So, last live stream... Um, we worked on Jeb's sanctuary, so we started working on it. We kind of cleared out some space with some TNT, and then in the time since then, I've been able to actually finish it up and create the finished product of Jeb's sanctuary. So now I believe it is time, guys, for our little guy here to finally have his permanent home. He's been, you know, in two different spots. He's had his little fenced-off area over here, which is, you know, no longer a thing, and now he's been hanging out in our I guess melon farm, I guess is what you could call this place. We're going to work on this today as well. Uh, but now it is finally time for Jeb to enter his new home. So guys, get ready for this. As you can see, Jeb's sanctuary on both sides. Here it is, guys. Here's Jeb's sanctuary. It's pretty beautiful, isn't it? And now, before you yell at me, I did leave those ores on purpose because I wanted to keep it a little bit, like, uh, I guess, survivally. So... Um, yeah, th that's why I left those there. So basically what happened was we kind of just blew open a hole in the ground, kind of dug it out a little bit on stream. Then I came back in and kind of refined it, uh, opened it up more, added the waterfall, planted a big tree, got really lucky on that big tree. Uh, that was a first try attempt right there. And I draped some leaves off as well to make it look kind of overgrown because it still is the jungle biome. Then I took some more leaves and I draped them along the side of the mountain. So it really wasn't that hard to build. It only took me about an hour and a half or so. To finish thing, this finish this. Blah, 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 I can't talk. Finish this thing up. So this is Jeb's new sanctuary, guys. I think it's beautiful. It's just, it's just gorgeous. So Jeb, why don't you uh kind of move over to your new land? Do I have a lead on me? Oh crap, I don't. Hold on, let me grab a lead so I can bring Jeb over to his new house. Uh, this is exciting, guys. Finally, Jeb has a place to stay here in the Survival Island world for a permanent time. Another thing I um I did on the place to make sure that it was Jeb proof because Jeb is a little crafty sometimes. Um, come on, buddy. Yeah, there you go. So, so Jeb's a little crafty sometimes. One thing I did to make it sure it was foolproof is, uh, all the walls are at least two blocks tall on the first level here, so there's really no way out. Uh, let me go ahead and release him from the lead, and there we go. So, yeah, that's, that's it, guys. Jeb is in his new home. Let me put some cobblestone back. Jeb, how do you like your new home, man? You look like you like it a lot, actually. You're kind of just, like, gazing off into the, into the pond. Be careful that you don't drown yourself in the pond, though, Jeb, because that's, uh, that would be a problem, buddy. And, obviously, I don't think sheep can climb the waterfall uh, we'll find out i guess um but even if he does climb the waterfall you can't even escape at the top if he somehow finds a way to get up there there's fences around the whole outside in fact i'll go out there guys and show you um kind of how i did this i kind of lined the whole thing with some fences uh i think it's awesome I, I really like the way it turned out and i think it actually adds some it adds some natural light to the cave even so it's i think it's pretty cool that it's connected to the cave um it, it didn't i actually didn't even need to use i used maybe i would say three more blocks of tnt after we finished streaming, just made three more of them. Um, I, I just mostly dug it out by hand and then did, did like some simple terraform. Um, obviously, I didn't really, you know, go super detailed on the terraforming because right here, this is still looking kind of, uh, you know, not very good right there. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. No one comes up here anyway. But, yeah, as you can see, uh, here is his sanctuary from the top. So even if he was able to climb up the waterfall somehow, there's no way he'd be able to escape because of the fences going around it. I also put the fences up here for creepers and stuff like that, and I lit the whole place with as many torches as I could. So, um, for the most part, I've been kind of monitoring it. Uh, for the most part, it is mob-proof. Occasionally, a mob will spawn like up here on like the upper levels, but I have not. I've yet to see a, a mob spawn down where Jeb is going to hang out. So, it's connected to the horse stables, and I'm really happy with it. So, here is Jeb's new home, guys. Uh, here in his new sanctuary. It, it's a great moment guys here in the season that, that we finally have something like this done But uh, anyway now that that's kind of like out of the way and finished up um, I want to work on the house a little bit today And I also want to work on that little wheat farm there. That's no longer Jeb's temporary home So let's go on down here and let's do that first I guess we could say and we'll see what we do after that So obviously also by the way the storage cave I put signs on all the chests as well so we have the coal chest, which I also put always empty because it's always empty. <laughs> and then the uh chest is a chest because I ran out of stuff to, to put on. Like, I literally thought of, like, everything. I don't know if I'm missing something. Eventually, the gravel and the dirt chest might become its own chest because that stuff kind of fills up pretty quick. 
and we might even have a second cobblestone chest because i'm pretty sure this one's already full yeah this one's already full so we might get a second one of those down here but yeah as you can see i kind of filled all those in so the storage cave's looking pretty good or the storage room in the cave all these uh terminology getting confusing and then we have this farm here which i'm gonna mine these melons right now i don't know what the best way to do that is i guess i just that's fine i'll just use an axe i don't really know what the best tool was to uh break those but what I want to do is turn this into a wheat farm down here or something like that. Some sort of farm because uh, right now we, we don't even have any uh, uh, potatoes. So we, we can't make a potato farm. We can only make a wheat farm. So that's been kind of an issue. But Jeb seems to like his new home. I'm really happy that he likes it because this thing was... I think it's pretty cool. I like the waterfall. Um, you guys got to let me know what you think about this thing. Um, it was It was really not that hard to build too, which was great. And uh, we got a decent chunk of it done on the stream as well. So anyway, uh, enough about that. Let's go ahead and work on this thing. What I need to do is I got to get a, the diamond hoe, which I'm starting to think that I don't even have on me because I'm pretty sure Tyler has it. Yeah. So Okay, there's a stone hoe right here. That's fine. We'll just use this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tyler has the diamond hoe on him. So uh, since Tyler's not here, I cannot use that. But that's fine because I'm just going to create a little... Um, quick uh, infinity water source in the ground right here and i'm going to create little lines of water um the thing about these wheat farms is you don't really need a whole lot of water on them so what i'm going to do for this one is something a little bit different um let me let me grab the okay let's put the hoe right next to my shovel because i'm probably going to dig this up a little bit so i'm going to put little openings in the dirt like here and here and then let me just real quick grab some uh buckets here so I'm just going to put these buckets in the ground. And then like pretty much around that is going to be water. And then I'm just going to go every two blocks here. Whoops. I was worried about that. Let me get that dirt out. There we go. So yeah, every two blocks away, there's going to be another little pot of water here, which is going to be good because I can just go ahead and pretty much just till everything around it. So like this. And I don't have to worry about any animals disturbing it anymore unless animals spawn in here, which I don't think they will. Uh, a couple of times we've had a few sheep or um, chickens spawn in this farm with Jeb, but other than that, you know, it's not too frequent, so I don't think it's going to be a real problem. I'm going to place another one right here, like that. Hopefully, yeah, that's two blocks away, so this is going to be perfect. Let me go ahead and grab a little bit more here. Yeah, but this will, this will be small, and eventually it'll grow larger. Uh, that's pretty much the plan, but right for now, I'll probably just plant wheat here, because we have wheat seeds. Might as well just plant some something, at least. Let, let something grow. Uh, we could also plant more melons, which I might do. I think I lost... Wait, do you place... Um, is this... I might, this might sound dumb, but do you place a... Okay, yeah, you don't place a melon slice in the ground. Yeah, I don't know what you need for... Me I lost my melon seeds. They kind of just, like, disappeared, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, all right, so what we can do is I can actually go ahead and place another opening in the wall right here and right here. Place that there. And we're going to fill this in so yeah but i'm really overall happy with the way the season's going so far guys um i think the island look, is starting to look really really great and just wait until the modern house is done it's gonna look even better but the storage cave is like is a 10 out of 10 right now it, it is just beautiful all right so let's go ahead and plant some wheat hopefully we have some seeds in the food chest i think we do oh we have plenty all right sweet so i'm just gonna go ahead and plant some of this real quick just so something's growing, you know, we might, if, if we're going to have a farm down here, we might as well have something growing, even if it's something we don't really use a whole lot, but to be fair, wheat is pretty useful for the, um, the animal bunker, so at least we'll have a, a close range, uh, farm here that we can use, because, uh, that would probably be pretty good, wait, hold on, is this not placing, oh, okay, I gotta place some torches down, because this is not well lit enough, that's fine, just go ahead and put some torches right here, place a few on the wall, it didn't even occur to me that this isn't well lit enough. All right. That's fine. We fixed this up real quick. All right, so this is just basically just going to cover the whole thing. I think I have enough. Yeah, three to spare. So I'll just let that grow. Um, that'll grow pretty good, I think. And we'll have a pretty nice little wheat farm uh, in here. That will probably turn into a potato farm in the future if we can ever get some potatoes. But I think that's looking pretty good. So let me go ahead and drop some stuff off. Because I my inventory is kind of full right now, so let me just kind of clear it out for a second. I have a lot of different foods that like I don't need in my inventory right now, so I'll just keep the um, the steak, I guess. And I think we're we're putting yeah we're unofficially putting leather inside the weapons and armor chest. Uh, do I need to put yeah I'll put the hoe back because I don't need that right now. In fact, I could put a chest. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Change of plans. I'm gonna take this hoe and I'm gonna take these wheat seeds. I'm gonna put them in the chest right next to. 
Um, we don't need to take all of them, but I'll, I'm just going to put them in this, this chest right here, uh, right next to the stuff, because we have so many chests, we might as well use them. So there we go. So that that, that chest will be for um, the farm here, and this is already growing at a pretty decent rate, so that's good. Okay, so uh, is it nighttime? Because, okay, it's getting close, but we can kind of show you, I can show you guys how this works when it comes to Jeb. Um, I guess, you know, if the, the zombies or stuff spawn like that, he should be fine. I, I, I think this is a perfectly good spot. He looks so happy, though. I mean, he looks no different than he did any other time, but, you know, that's Minecraft. All right, let's go and sleep real quick. And actually, should I sleep and just kind of... Nah, you know what? Let's not sleep just yet. Hold on. What do I got to do right now? Oh, yeah, I got to put these leads away. Got to put the leads away, and then I'm going to work on the house a little bit. So actually, I probably should sleep, to be honest. So it's fine. I, it, it doesn't have to be nighttime. You guys can just take my word for it. The zombies don't really spawn or the mobs or whatever, so... Let's just sleep, and I'm going to go work on the modern house now, because the modern house needs some work. I, I was able to gather some more quartz. I put it in the chest already out there, so we can just head right on out there. Um, again, the quartz the quartz issue is it's starting to become an issue in the nether, because we kind of had like two sides of the nether, and I had like completely excavated like all the quartz from one side, and then on the stream, I kind of like realized that there was a lot more on the other side, so I did all that. And now there's really not a whole lot of quartz left in, like, anywhere near the spawn of the nether. So that's kind of an issue. Um, whatever. Maybe one, maybe we'll reset the nether, you know, if we run, completely run out of quartz. Because this thing is going to take a lot more quartz. So let's go actually over here and grab some, some quartz from this chest. I'm also going to grab some cobblestone because I'm going to do kind of like a demo this video. All right. So let's grab... Whoops. I just... Yeah, I'll take that glass. Why not? All right, so block of quartz, and here's the other one. Yeah, so I have almost two stacks, almost two stacks left. All right, so here's what I'm going to do, guys. Um, with this right here, I, I added a little bit more coal, and these are going to be the other coal pillars. I know, right, we're going to have three coal pillars on this building. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build up these pillars with cobblestone as like a demonstration to see what they'll look like when they're done. And then slowly but surely over time, as I gather more coal, I will add more... Um, I'll, add, I'll replace the cobblestone with coal. So let's just go ahead and get started with it. I'm just going to go up two levels at a time. Hopefully I have enough. I, have, I just grabbed like four stacks of uh, cobblestone. And we always have more back in the boulder boxes inside the storage cave, so it's fine. We also need to make in a connection to the basement of this house and the storage cave. I'll probably wait on that uh, until it's finished. But that's going to be something we're going to do as well in the future. And uh, honestly, though, like once this place is done, I'm, you'll probably find me here more often than not. Because I'm going to try to have an enchantment room. Pretty much everything you need for the basics of survival inside this house. So I'll have beds and chests and furnaces and crafting tables. And we have to make an ender chest, actually. Um, I, we don't really need one. But I, I don't really need one. But, I mean, it's just... Well, we might make one. I, I still don't have enough ender pearls because... For whatever reason, I, I thought this season that we would be more lucky with endermen spawning on the island. But... I've been incorrect on that, uh, I guess, analysis or assumption or whatever. Not that many Endermen spawn. And maybe we need to just, like, go to the other side of the island because there's, like, no Endermen on this side because a lot of it's lit up as well. Not even on Boom Beach over there. So, all right, I think this is high enough, um, hopefully. So let's, let's go ahead and drop down here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the quartz and I'm going to um, come over here and basically start to add the roof. Because I want to kind of like take this around. So basically the roof is going to kind of be pretty much uh, connecting to the level below. In terms of it's it's going to be pretty much parallel. Um, so I'm going to kind of just take it across. I don't want to fall off here. <laughs> it's going to be hard to tell. So maybe I'll just like crouch or something like once I get close. Once I once I got my spidey senses tingling that I'm getting close. <laughs> Alright. Well anyway. Let's go back up here. This cobblestone thing looks so ugly compared to the, the coal. But for now, guys, it's just a demonstration. All right, so while I'm down here, I might as well take some of this cobblestone and bring this up. So at least I can get up here. Okay, so now this is going to turn back this way. Okay, hopefully I can walk right along this edge. Tightrope this thing real quick. I think I'm going pretty good right now. Oh, God, I was about to fall off. All right, we'll go right up to the edge here. Oh, crap. I placed a block in the wrong spot. Nope. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, wow. That broke three blocks. Dang, this pickaxe is overpowered. All right, there we go. I'm just using the last of this pickaxe before I get into the super pickaxe that I got on stream. Because, uh, you know, just, you might as well just finish up the one I have. So that's going to connect right there, right? And that's basically how this is going to work. And then I'm, all I'm going to do really is just take that up through here. Let me just drop down. I got to get some feather fallen boots for this build. 
Oh, wait, no, I already have the quartz on me. Okay. Gotta get those feather falling boots. For real. Alright, so let's come up here, and uh, I'm gonna add both of these cobblestone pillars now. It's ugly, but it is really ugly. There's no other way around it. It's super ugly. Okay, so we're gonna jump back up here. Again, you, you guys get the idea of how much quartz this is gonna take to build this thing. Alright, so basically, this is gonna be a wall right here. Plain and simple. Uh, just like this. So let me just kind of take this across right here. Fill this in. Uh, that doesn't need to be there. Did I pick up that second block or did that fall? I think I got it. Alright, yeah, anyway, there you go, guys. Um, so that wall connects to that cobblestone pillar, which is eventually going to be a coal pillar. And then basically what I got to do now is just fill in this entire level with quartz. Like, that's basically the next goal. Um, I'm just going to fill in the first level, or the I guess the floor of the second level here. Or the ceiling of the first level, however you want to look at it. I just basically got to fill this in with quartz now completely. So basically all the way from that little lining of quartz all the way down to where I am now is what I got to fill in. So I'll estimate this is probably going to take two and a half to three more stacks of quartz. So basically that equ that equates to about 45 minutes of me going to the nether and mining. So it's really not that bad. Um, so yeah, as you guys, we've talked about this several times before. Building a house like this in survival with these kind of, I guess, specialty blocks... Um, like quartz and coal and um, stained clay. We haven't had too many issues collecting stained clay, but uh, with all these blocks that are, you know, rare, or relatively rare to get, uh, or I guess difficult to, to get in bulk, uh, it's going to take a long time. So, I mean, you guys know this by now. All right, so I'm just going to fill this up. Uh, again, I'm just going to get these pillars done here. And maybe I'll even add some glass as well. I'm not really sure where I'm going to place the glass just yet. So I'm probably going to have to do a little bit more thinking on that first before we before we do that. I might even need another pillar of quartz here. Or a pillar of uh, cobblestone. Not sure if this one's going to be enough. I don't even know if that one was enough. Did I make that one tall enough? Uh, is that one block or two blocks right there? I think that's just one. I'll probably make it the same height. Because um, that one over there is supposed to be kind of like a chimney. So it's going to naturally go above the level of the uh, house a little bit. All right, so I got to grab. Hopefully, there's a little bit more cobblestone here. Uh, there's none left. Okay, that's fine. We'll just run back to the house real quick. We, got, or back to the uh, storage cave real quick. We have so much stuff down there. We might as well just use it. Also, I think I changed this up. A, I might have done this on stream. I think I did this on stream, but I, I changed up the front a little bit. I kind of uh, took these little tree things and moved them a little bit further away. So I did that. And I'm also going to plant some real trees pretty soon. Pro probably wait until the house is done uh, before I plant trees or kind of finish the landscape. But yeah, that's that's also a plan. What do I have in here right now? Do I have anything useful? Oh, I have a lead right there. I could have just grabbed that. Whatever. All right, so cobblestone. We'll grab two more stacks to be safe. I kind of like, I, for whatever reason, it, I kind of like having that chest filled up completely with cobblestone. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have uh, to refill it sometime, which I don't think is going to be any issue. If only cobblestone, if only I have the magical power to turn cobblestone into quartz, or turn cobblestone into coal, I could just touch it, and it, boom, turns the quartz. That would just be a Christmas miracle. All right, let's climb back up here. So, again, I'm not going to take this up too much further. Well, I'm probably going to take it up, like, one or two blocks past the roof. This right here, in case you're wondering, is going to be the roof. So, we're, we're on line with the roof right now. So, I'll take it up two blocks, so it's not, like, the same level as that one, I think. will probably be smart. Okay, so we're going to have to take this up two more. So this is one above that. Yeah, okay, cool. So just just imagine, guys, that these two pillars that I just created out of cobblestone, just imagine that these pillars are made of coal. And that's basically going to be what the finished product of the house is going to look like. So that looks pretty good. All right, uh, what now, what now? Okay, I'm going to make some... Should I move these uh, this stuff over here like up into the floor of the house? Probably should. I'll do that later because this is gonna, that's probably going to take a minute. All right, so let's grab some of this oak wood. I actually did have some oak wood in here. That's pretty good. I didn't even know that. I'm constantly replanting those trees over by the beach uh, near the boat, so uh, it's not it hasn't really been an issue. So I'm basically what I'm going to do now is just kind of whoops, uh, continue placing some of this some of these planks here. Uh, but as far as uh, just filling this in, pretty good progress. I like this. Um, obviously we need to collect some more coal. Oh my god, I just did that two times in a row. Like, seriously? Come on. Alright, I feel like I'm on roller skates right now. I can't place blocks. Okay, so... This is probably gonna go out to, like, right there. Struggling to place some blocks right now. 
Okay. So this is going to go across right here. I'm not really sure how far down this is going to go because I haven't really thought about this yet. We'll figure it out, though. Basically, it's going to line up with that. Oh, we can definitely take it out further because it's going to line up with um, this lining of cords. You're probably wondering why that goes further past than this. Um, it's just kind of just a little design. It's not really anything like to be explained, I guess. Let me break a block so I can get up here. That's pretty much what I wanted to do, though, with the, um, the planks. Um, it's looking pretty good, though. I like this. I'm probably going to make, like, uh, you know how we have this little beam thing or whatever, this platform kind of sticking out? That's probably the right word. Sticking out of the side of the building over here. I'm going to have another one of those off the back, probably, because I think that'll look really nice. So, basically, the exact same design you see there in kind of like a smaller fashion right here. And then I'll probably have another one stick out this way. So, there's going to be a bunch of, like, random platforms in this house that are completely unnecessary, but just make the place look more fancy. But anyway, guys, um, that's where I'm going to conclude today's episode. Some good progress on this house. Um, you know, it's getting there, slowly but surely. It's all about me finding time to collect the materials, pretty much. So thanks for watching, everybody. It's been Dan Lags. Um, Tyler might be back next episode. I don't know. I'm not really sure. He doesn't really play on this world too much anymore. Uh, it's kind of sad, but whatever. Um, but anyway, guys, give it a like if you did enjoy it. I will see you guys on the next episode of Survival Island. But until then, guys, have a good day, and peace out.